Alright, g'day guys and welcome back today to another Obsidian video. Today we're going to be looking at a pretty cool piece of functionality uh, that enables you to basically embed websites into your notes within Obsidian. This is obviously pretty useful. Uh, if you're using D&D Beyond, you can display your character sheets. If you're using Google Sheets, you can display Excel sheet style things inside of your thing, inside of your notes, or you could just use in uh, any sort of website that you find useful. You can bring straight on into the tools. So let's jump in and have a look. All right, so you can, in front of me, you can see I've got uh, Obsidian open. I've got my vault um, at the moment I'm on my DM screen. And you can see down here, I've got these things for generators. And what I've been doing is just going around and having a look at the different generators that do exist, finding ones that I like. So if I click on the tavern generator, I get this that comes up. I can go visit a tavern and I get some information straight away about the tavern and I can start reading that at my table. All right, you can see the food and drink list. All right, food menu. It's really, really handy. If I go back to my DM screen, uh, let's say my players meet an NPC and I need to find out who that NPC is, I can click in here and go, all right, well, they're going to meet a dwarf. Uh, it's going to be a female dwarf. And I can then go, well, I think that's it actually. It just randomly does it. All right, creates a picture for it, gives me some features, some traits. I've had some fun with these so far. And as you can see, it's really, really quick. I'm not doing anything special here either, All right? These are websites. So this is DM Heroes. And, you know, if you were to go to the DM Heroes website, um, you can well, do a search for DM Heroes. You can find there is DM Heroes. All right, you can see that there's a website, dmheroes.com. And it's really handy just for like pulling up a very quick um, sort of picture and, uh, and description for an NPC. So I've just been going through trying to find as many of these as I possibly can. I've found characters and NPCs and um, I really like the um, uh, like the fast character. So if I have a usually children, when my children come to play at my table, they don't know how to read yet necessarily. They just want a quick character sheet. Using this tool here, we can just go, oh, here's a character sheet. We print it off and give it to them and the adults help them read through it. So really quick, really easy to do. But how do these work? How do you do these themselves yourself? Well, iframes are built into uh, obsidian.md, so yeah, there's nothing really that you need to do. Uh, there's no plugins to install or anything like that. Um, and this is what it looks like. So you can see we've just got a simple iframe here. So here's the code. It's obviously got the little uh, arrow iframe, and then we set some variables. So height, weight, you can put some padding in here if you need it. It's not necessary. But the important one is the source. So CRSC equals URL, all right? And then we close it out. And this is just basic sort of HTML functionality. iframe has been around for a long time. Um, you know, you can probably do some, uh, some Googling and find some things out about it. So I've just gone to the w3schools.com, had a look at iframe, and you can see here that it gives you sort of uh, a different, um, ways of uh, modifying these and setting them up and I can't guarantee that all of these are going to work inside of Obsidian. I don't know the level of depth that they've gone to implementing support for it, um, but this is all you need to do. All right, we've done some good testing with this and it works quite nicely. So I'll, I'll paste this section of code into the description below, but effectively all you really need to know is that you just need to change this. Okay. Now, just to show you guys how I've implemented this, because I'm really bad at remembering code, all right? I've created a template, so I can press Alt-T, which is my hotkey for template, and go iframe. And then bring this one up, and I've got embed website. So I could also type website, all right? And it still brings up the same thing. And then it just brings it in, and I type that here. You can see I've got some metadata there for some reason. All right, and if I do that, give it a couple of seconds to load. Should be another website coming up down here. Assuming I did it properly. Might just be a big one. Da, 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 da. Come on, Don John, where are you? Nah, don't 
Doesn't look like I need to do anything else. I'm just going to check this. Just to see how this reacts. There's two of them. I think it's just something wrong with the Donjon link that I've got there, to be honest. Um, you can see it's loading the, the, the second website quite easily. So, I'll just get rid of that for now. That's all you really need to do. All right, is just copy this text. And as I said, I'll just walk you through how I recommend that you do it. I mean, obviously I, uh, I use templates a lot. Um, so if we come down here to templates, all right, I've got a folder for Markdown and then inside of there, there'll be a website here somewhere, embed website, all right, which is just a note inside of my templates folder with this text. So that, that way, whenever I go through and put it in, I just uh, click insert and off it goes. Really, really simple and really easy. Now, just to give you guys some ideas on how you could use this, um, one of my personal favorites is D&D Beyond. All right, so here you can see the uh, character sheets loaded. And you know, I've had people coming to me and saying, uh, Josh, you know, what do you recommend for character sheets? How do I do it inside of Obsidian? I'm going to be completely frank, guys. I don't do it inside of Obsidian. And I don't think we need a plugin inside of Obsidian to handle character sheets. Um, Obsidian is where I keep my notes for my campaign. And I have an expectation at my table that my players maintain their own character sheets. And they have an expectation that they should be able to do that as well. That's part of the game for them. So, you know, they, they wouldn't want me having control of their character sheets. And if we did have a plugin built into uh, Obsidian specifically for character sheets, then I would have to make all the changes to it because um, we don't have the ability for my players to be editing Obsidian at the table. So that just wouldn't work from a workflow perspective, in my opinion. But this on the other hand, this is fantastic because they're on their phones or their iPads or their own laptops using their own character sheets and any changes they make will come through to here. Um, maybe not instantly, but like if I was to go away from it and come back, then every time I come back into that page, it loads up the latest changes, which you know means I'm gonna get whatever has been reflected on their sheet. So for me, this is the best solution for a character sheet that you can possibly find. Um, and you can see here that, you know, it's got all the functionality that I've been able to find. Um, you can even roll the dice, all right? So it's got super, superb functionality. Um, if you were using Roll20 with the uh, Beyond20 plugin, you could probably even have this sending uh, data back to Roll20 maybe. I don't know if that'll work, but um, it certainly could. And then, yeah, outside of that, you can do pretty much whatever you like. Now, another thing that I was playing around with this morning is, oh, well, how do we get really cool functionality for Excel spreadsheets? And the iframe is really the solution there as well. Because if you're using Google Sheets, and you can see here, I've just found something online from DM Diggy, where he's got his inventory uh, sheet. I've just saved a copy. Um, and you can see here that uh, I've basically got the ability to uh, do some maths. All right. Um, we can do equals sum. All right. So using this, you can really sort of embed spreadsheets into your Obsidian notes and you could pretty much make whatever you want. For the guys who really want to have a character sheet inside of Obsidian, this might be the perfect solution. Like go away and make a, a, a character sheet that's based on a Google sheet and then just embed it and it'll work really well. Um, it seems to support all of the functionality you would expect. So like drop downs, for example. All right, you can have all your formulas in there. It's just like working with Google Sheets. So I think that's really cool. Now, the one thing I have done here is I have changed my height to 950. So just so you guys can see what that looks like if we go 500. We come back in here, you can see it shrinks it. So you are in full control of that. I've done a bit of fiddling and 950 seems to get me to around where my screen size is. All right, so that's my aim there. And then obviously you've got the 100% as well. So you could go back to 90% if you wanted. All right, which will just take up less of the screen. 100% is obviously where I want to be. Makes the most sense. All right, I haven't played with padding. Don't know what it does. I assume it should push something in from the side. 
I have no idea. Google Sheets just seems to adapt anyway. So, like the, the amount of things you could do with this really like, you know, whatever you can do in Excel, you could do in here. You could make inventory trackers, you could make random table generators. Help if you were to adjust the size of the the the, uh, the columns so that this are all perfect squares. You could probably even use it to draw a quick and dirty map, like just color in the cells and and map it out like that's old school way. It's all very possible here with a uh, with an iframe. So very very cool functionality. I, uh, I certainly recommend you guys have a bit of a play and and check it out. It can certainly save you a lot of time um, from having to. Really gutty way to. I'm mean, seeing people like that try to make random table generators inside of Obsidian and have it all working fluidly. You know, like there's websites that already do that. So, you know, for me, I don't necessarily need to go out of my way. If I need to copy this into a note, I can just cut and paste quite easily. Um, we even had one here that actually had, I think, this settlement generator actually exports to. A um, here we go. Generate it actually exports to Markdown. All right, so we can come in here and go download set of Markdown, and I can save that directly in as another note, and then I will get that formatting perfectly inside of Obsidian, just like it's designed to use. So, because the uh, the website supports it, I can use that functionality. So anyway, just to run over that again, just so you guys can see it. Um, as I said, I will copy and paste this into the code below, but this is a, an iframe. Uh, it's, it's very uh, simple HTML. Um, you know, you just got to make sure you get your, your, your uh, formatting of your text completely right. You know, you can't mess around with that. But ultimately, all you need to do is copy this into a note and then update this to the URL that you want to use and uh, away you go. So, yeah. That's how to do an iframe, guys. Hopefully, that is uh, something you guys will be able to take uh, away with uh, a lot of benefit and bring, obviously, some speed and functionality to your game. And uh, hope you uh, share if you find anything cool. Let us know in the Facebook groups, and we'll uh, go away and steal what you're doing and uh, turn it into something we can all use for ourselves. So, anyway, guys, have a great day. I'll uh, speak to you on the forums.